So something that I found interesting before we go into the location of the items is this book that you can find in the apartments. Um, you can read over it if you would like to or pause it. Um, but I think this is a hint to the rebirth ending. So I think all endings have like a little booklet that's attached to their existence um, to get the player to feel like it's achievable. You can find this on the little shelf here or this little uh, counter here. In the same room you get the flashlight. The first item that you can get is the white chrism. I don't know how to say it. Trism? Chrism? It's in the Blue Creek Apartments, the, so the blue, the blue side, and it's in room 105 on a counter in the kitchen. I got excited and I already picked it up before I started filming, but uh, yeah, you can see this is what it looks like. The next item is very missable, so it's outside um, the Texon gas station um, in... This can be achieved. You can get this either during the daytime or the nighttime. So if you miss it now, you can get it later. Although I recommend getting it now. So this is um, after you meet up with Maria. So I showed you on the map where I was. And it's in these little boxes here. You get the Book of Lost Memories. Which you can pause to read, but yeah, I recommend getting this during the day because it'd probably get harder to see at night. It's already kind of difficult to figure out where it is during the day. Um, so um, again, this is right after you meet up with Maria. So right after you find her in um, the park, immediately go to this gas station, which is close to Pete's bowling alley. is the Obsidian Goblet. It is inside of the historical, the Silent Hill Historical Society. I'm showing it here. Um, this, it's, I wouldn't say missable. You've probably gotten this one, but it's inside of the, I don't know what I'm doing walking around this thing. And then I, okay, I decided I was gonna save. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't, we don't ask. We don't ask. I was playing this at like 3 a.m. We don't ask. But anyway, you go through this door. Uh, so that was the main room. You go to the second room. And it's inside of this smashed glass case. See James is looking at it. City and Goblet. And I show you what it looked like. Some kind of thing. So the last item that you need is inside the hotel and it's very missable. So make sure you get it before it's gone. Um, it's in the reading room. Now this is after you've already opened the door for Mary um, and, and find out the revelation of Mary. And it's in this reading room. It's not there before. It only spawns there after you already know the truth about Mary. Um, and I'm kind of struggling to pick it up. James is looking at it, but I'm, I'm kind of having some trouble picking it up, but it is there. And it's called Book Crimson Ceremony. And um, you can read this if you want. It's basically an occult book and one that gives you context into kind of like where the direction of this ending is going. But yeah, um, again, make sure you're just clicking thoroughly right there because for some reason, I was having trouble picking it up because it just kept not registering it at all, but it is there. Uh, and again, only after you've seen Mary's stuff. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to show is what actually happens. So if you don't feel like uh, getting it yourself and you're like, Emmy, I just want to see the ending, then from here on out, I'm just going to kind of show you what happens. Um, I'm going to skip some of the battle um, because I kind of fuck around a little bit but so after you've all obtained all four items you just go through the game as normally and you get a different cutscene here James Maria 
finished with you. What? But I'm what you wanted. Mary's dead. Don't you understand? She's not coming back. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. I'll never hurt you like she did. Why don't you want me? Because you are not Mary. Without Mary, I just can't go on. Oh, James. Come on, James. You must be joking. So I just kind of want to talk a little bit um, before I cut the, some of this, this really bad gameplay. Um, that if you played this game or you've seen people play this game, most likely they've achieved the in water ending. It's the most common and easy, easily obtained ending. So it kind of makes it look like James has accepted what's happening. Except I don't think that is the, the truth at all. Um, that he is taking responsibility. I think he is in fact not. It does look low, and uh, it does look like he has agreed that Maria is not good for him. So, he is going to beat her up. <laughs> so, I'll go ahead and skip this, and we'll see what happens after you get rid of Maria. So after you shoot down Maria, you get a little unique cutscene, so I'll be quiet for that. Without you, Mary. This town, Silent Hill. The old gods haven't left this place. And they still grant power to those who venerate them. Power to defy even death. Okay, and that's it. Now you are getting um, the cut the credits. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, what happened here. So basically, James kills Maria. So Maria, in my personal opinion, being a manifestation of Silent Hill, um, I'm not sure um, if you ever wanted to hear my opinions on an analysis of characters in this game and stuff, I could do a in more in-depth video on that. But basically, I don't feel like Maria is real, and I feel like she's just a manifestation of Silent Hill. And James kind of conquers that and kills Maria. But then after he kills Maria, he rows a boat with his wife's corpse in it. So you could actually see there was a body wrapped in a white sheet in the boat with him. Um, and um, I believe that the reason why her body is there is because uh, when major theory is that when si when James drives to Silent Hill and he haphazardly parks his car, his wife's body is actually inside of the car um, because despite the fact that James says that she died three years 
prior, she's probably actually been dead for three days. So we know Ma we know James's memory is a bit um, not okay, and um, he's kind of forcing memories down. So um, whether or not you think it's in the back seat or it's in the trunk is irrelevant for now. But um, it definitely Maria's body, or, sorry, Mary's body is in in the car. So he killed Maria, went back to his car, picked up his wife's body, um, put her put her on a boat, and started rowing over to Luca Lake. To the Church of Rebirth, which is the building that you could kind of see into the fog there on that island. Presumably to um, resurrect Mary um, by confronting the quote-unquote old gods of Silent Hill. So those items that we picked up were um, it, with, to, an attempt to use on Mary to re-resurrect her, I, I suppose. Um, because James could not accept the fact that she was dead. We don't know what happens after that. Um, we don't get any more confirmation, denial, nothing, uh, no word. We don't know if she actually manages to get resurrected. We don't know anything like that. Um, a analysis that I'll do on the In Water ending, um, if you would like to go see that, um, would probably explain what I actually think happened. I don't think this is canon. I think this is just one of those endings you can get for fun. Uh, so yeah. Um, the song that is playing is called The Reverse Will, if you're interested in that. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys are able to obtain this ending.